What did you put? Put yours in the still in the corner. <laughs> Why is that? Is that okay? Yes, thank you. Just there. Are you sure? Doesn't look okay. Did you order the tags? Yes. The, is the woman? Did you get her hap pieceified? Oh, we're on. We're on. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Nobody told me we're on. Farmer Pete and Farmer Ben here at Dulscon Farm on uh, Saturday morning with our uh, our million view wonder. Yes, we had a million views on our our video last night of our baby donkey. And we've got pumpkin patch running today as well. Some kids in the background there. Good morning to everybody. Um, and we did ask for for name suggestions. And while we've got some name suggestions, uh, <laughs> I think we're at 27,000 comments at the minute. Don't know if you can hear Ben or not. But yeah, it's going to take a bit of going through. But it's um, if you were watching Mum and baby during the night via the lamb cam you may well have seen that um, he had his coat on he had a wee jacket on him so and there was just a bit of a chilly draft last night which is thankfully gone this morning and it's i'll give you a wee panorama it's dry it stopped raining a lot a lot of rain overnight and more flooding as you can see down uh, down the valley there all that water is lying in our grazing fields uh, and another weather warning on going through until Monday for more rain so uh, more flooding expected um, but it's dry for now so yes so a lot of name suggestions to go through we had the ones we did look at we were out last night we had to uh, we're all booked to go to Duke and Morag's birthday party um, they were having a Cayley just up the road, which was good fun. Ben, Farmer Ben and Claire didn't make it because they were on duty looking after uh, Rio and Baby. Um, but all the rest of us went out. Um, even our grandbabies, Sadie Amelia and Edith May. And we all had a real good time. So it was a busy night, all in all. So you can see uh, he's dried off now. And he's, he's having a good stretch. I think he's grown. He's not as dark as he was last night. Mum says, right, what are you doing with my baby? He's not as dark as he was last night. Uh, there's a lot more grey um, coming through. Are you coming around to see everybody? Look how cool he is. He's got beautiful dark ears. And he's as soft as silk. Just like mum, isn't it? You're not wanting this to near your baby. And he's got his wee uh, slippers have come off his hoofs now, his wee baby hoofs. And of course the cross, uh, very distinctive right up his back, isn't he? I think he may continue to get a wee bit lighter, won't he? Oh, 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 he's having a wee kick. Having a wee kick. Oh, getting a bit frisky. So on the names front, um, I'm saying we were, he's going in for a wee feed. So we were out last night, so we didn't get a lot of time to look. At, I don't think it really went bananas until through after the night, through right? the night, yeah. When we went to bed, we were like at a thousand comments. And uh, during the night when we were up checking them, we we're up to like... Um, ten thousand. Yeah, he's uh, he's doing so well. So we're just uh, we're conscious that Eeyore's not particularly happy. Mum's being very protective. 
Uh, so the next move today is to get her a, on a pen on her own. We don't really want to separate them, so we're going to make a pen just right next door. The pumpkin patch finishes tonight, um, so we're just going to extend this pen so she's got her own quarters, um, but not, we can't leave her on her own. Um, donkeys are quite a, a haired animal, you wouldn't want to leave them on their own, especially when she's been in with Rio for so long now. Um, so yeah, she'll not be as intimidated by her, but mum's being very protective. So on the names front, <clears throat> what's in the lead? I think Pumpkin's still leading. We had Boo. Um, There's a lot of Spooky. Uh, O'Lantern. Jack, is it Jack O'Lantern? Yeah, but we've got a, you we've can got hear a Jack. Jack in the background yeah. probably. So we've got a Jack, so Jack O'Lantern's out. Who's Jack O'Lantern? I've no idea. Is this... Um, if somebody can let us know. It must be a character from somewhere. Um, yeah, I've got a Jack. That's Jack you can hear in the background, maybe. Um, so Pumpkin and Storm was well Storm, up there. Storm, that was it. There's Spooky, Boo, Storm, Pumpkin. So they're all kind of... And there was, a lot of, uh, there was a lot of names coming in that were like Black Jack or... Midnight. Midnight, you know, something for something dark. But as we said in the stream last night, it's not likely to be dark. He'll probably come through light grey like his mum. They just always look a lot darker when they come out because they're wet. Um, and once they get dried off, they go a totally different colour. So we're kind of expecting that. So those dark names aren't really going to work for him because it'd look a bit weird once he gets grown up. He is going to lighten up significantly. Is a yeah. carved pumpkin, not a jack-o'-lantern. There we go, that's what that is then. Oh, right. All right. Didn't know that. Thanks for letting those speckles. Um, and the patch was another pumpkin patch, but... Um, well, that was one of the original names, wasn't it? It we was, got, yeah. We got yeah. suggested when the, both donkeys are born, hopefully both are safe and sound born, but um, it was pumpkin and patch is what we were... So what it's. Um, <clears throat> so that was a good couple of names. So we will uh, continue to have a debate with yourselves and ourselves and come up with the, the very. Maybe put a little competition on Facebook or something and, and see what the poll is. We'll put a poll on maybe, comment we'll, what your favourite we'll, is and what the bit. We'll choose between a, mm -hmm. a few different names. Um, and maybe the first one out of the hat could be the the adoptive uh, parent, if you like. <laughs> hey, here we go. It's off and running. So we just need to decide. See his face is really light as well, so I would mm. imagine his whole body will go like that eventually. I mean, his belly's very white, isn't he? Yeah. He's a lively character. It definitely looks like he hasn't grown since last night. He's not actually. I know he's smaller than his mum, but he's not that much smaller than his mum, is he? Not really. So again, Eeyore, mum's moved over to this side, so she's moved away over to the other side, so um, definitely get her separated off before um, before night time, just so she's not as anxious. So again, if you could like and share the stream, uh, it just helps to get... What is it you say? Helps to grow the stream. There you are. Um, Get us some extra viewers for, um, and reach new people really, is what we're trying to do. Helps grow our page as well. So that's the whole idea. Keep everyone informed and, and help grow the, the page, grow the stream and reach as many people as we can. Anne says his legs are straightened. Yeah, I mean, he's been, he's been pretty um, cramped up when you see the size of him. Inside, mom. I think that's why he looks bigger as well because his legs have he's straight and he's ready, to, ready he's to get up and running, and that's why he's looking a bit bigger. He's naturally expanded as he's got a wee bit of. Uh, Here comes Eeyore. Uh, that's unusual. Yeah, she's not. Uh, it's mid on there, isn't it? She's friendly, but she's not like one that comes up and lets you, you stroke her. So, and she only came to us last November, so we'd. We know very little about her history. 
She came from Ireland, we know that. Other than that, when she came, she wasn't in the best condition, was she? She wasn't in the best condition. She didn't have her... Her feet 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 were were terrible. Um, So, hard to put an age on her. I know she looks older because of the kind of grey muzzle, but um, that's when we just are marking. So, don't know if she's had a baby before. Um, Kind of going in blind with this one, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how she'll react, but... Time will tell. It's uh, as we kept saying. It's getting closer. So here he is and having a good. I mean, he's a, he is a good baby. I think he's yes. been. What's that? He's been. He's been out for a, just over twelve hours now, and he's probably spent ten of those twelve hours trying to feed. So he's obviously he might be a big. Might end up being a big male, I would think. He'll be a big boy. He will. And um, he's got an appetite anyway. I see the, the donkey cam up on the, the roof there, that's it hanging from the roof. It's streaming 24 7, so you can see them all the time. And there's a few messages last night. Farmer Fee was down here at, at, after midnight because uh, there's a few people concerned, as was Farmer Fee. She was watching at the time after we had come back from the party. Um, he was lying kind of funny or up against the gate or somewhere, so she came down. Uh, after midnight to just move him about and make sure everything was all right. Look him swallowing all that milk. Normally once you get by the first night you're a bit less stressed about it, aren't you? It's, and the you sun- relax a wee bit more knowing that he's, he's quite happy. I mean, he's not really going to get as cold now, is he? And the sun's out. It's That chilly wind's away, so um, it's a nice warm environment for him. So, And he's up and about. Giving his mum a wee bit. He's going to be a rascal, isn't he? He is. He is. I think she's going to have her hands full. Anne Robertson yeah. says he was under the feeding tree, so he was under the hay heck. Under here. So they, unfortunately, baby animals do have a tendency to want to go in stupid places. Yes. Uh-huh. But again, it's this uh, camera have will have streaming so everybody can see it. It's been an invaluable asset hasn't it um, it's right through lambing and kidding and um, it just means so many sets of eyes are on them, on them all the time other than just us trying to watch them uh, oh yeah right so thanks for everybody if you've been on there watching can please continue to do so as we'll have to keep still keep an eye on Eeyore um, yeah so she's not going to be far off I no think. she's She's if, she, if one's went, the other's probably not too Are far. you predicting this again? I'm predicting. I'm willing to put my neck on the line here. Same as five weeks ago. <laughs> Remember that, everybody, okay? What day is this? Well, it's Halloween, so it's... No, it's not. That's tomorrow. So it's the 30th. Right. Farmer Ben says she's not far away. <laughs> <laughs> Betty's watching. Good morning. Calling uh, Tokyo. I was actually thinking about this earlier. If Mum's Rio, then he could have been called Tokyo, but it's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? It's not the easiest to say. After the Olympics. Are you sure you're thinking that? I was thinking that this morning, yep. Yeah. You never it said. my mind. Don't think he was. Carl says, call him Rascal. Um, and who else is on? Jacqueline says, I saw him being born last night and his first drink from his mum. Lovely to see it. He's a cheeky boy. He is. He sure is. Um, Wendy's asking, really good looking male or female? It's a male, Wendy. Oh, it's... Um, oh, I've lost you. Got a name yet? No, we're just saying we've, uh, we've got a few... A lot of name suggestions. We're going to pick the top five, five names. We'll do a poll and we'll, we'll run a wee Facebook thingy. And um, the top name, that's what you'll be called. We'll work something out in the next couple of days. So, yeah, just bear in mind, Eeyore's still to give birth, so all being well, we will have another one on the way. Um, and if you're, if you're watching the stream just now and you don't like our Facebook page, please go on and give us, give us a like. It lets us know you're out there and you're following us. And uh, it should give you notifications when we go live as well, so you won't miss any of our streams. So 
it keeps you updated all the time. What is it they say on YouTube? Hit the bell button, is it? Smash that like button. <laughs> Neil Douglas says flood would be a good name, it would Neil. Uh, there's lots of things going up there. Yeah, lots of likes. Um, Ellie says he's so fluffy. He is. I wish you could, f you could actually feel him. He's like he feels uh, like a teddy bear is the best way to describe it because his his hair is so soft. It's uh, it's unbelievable. Not like Mum's kind of got kind of coarse hair. Kind of wiry, but, yeah, but his hair is like, probably not stay like that because Mo Baba, our last baby donkey, was that our last baby donkey? Yeah. Um, I mean he. No, Candy. Oh, sorry, Candy. Well, she wasn't as soft, was she? She's kind of wiry. Yeah. Uh, goes with her kind of attitude, uh, but Mo Baba, he was like, it was just like cotton wool until he was um, uh, nine months old and then he started just to um, firm up a wee bit, but um, Mo Baba, he had a rock and cool mohique kind of afro kind of hair going on, I don't know if, um, if this one's just as, just the same. I'm a big sis, Rosemary saying. Surely it has to be Halloween related. Let us know, sis. Give us a, a suggestion. How about Tenerife? She's planning her holidays at the minute, you know. Uh, Lynn says, call him Teddy. Michelle, hello from Norfolk. Is it dry down there? Teddy would be a great name, but I do feel like it needs to be. Halloween related, does it not? Yeah. And right. also, for uh, for easiness sake for us. Hi. If we have him Halloween related, <laughs> it, it reminds us when he was born and then we can... Um, yeah, because once they get up um, a couple of years older, it's... Um, aye. They can look very similar to... You can, hi. One donkey ones. looks very much like another, especially when we've got so many. Uh, mind you, we never forget Mo Baba, do we? No. no. And Kirsty Hench says. Rio. That's how we know how old Rio is. Yes, exactly. Et, 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 et. Hence Eeyore. Yeah. Yeah, that's now a different situation. Uh, <laughs> Eeyore's a rescue. Uh, right. Kendra says, what about Boo? Yes, that's one of the. I think that's one of the favourites at the minute. Um, but it has to be something that we, we can say as well. There's There's been a few weird and wonderful ones coming in that we can't get our Irish Scotch tongue around. Um, it's funny how different accents um, sound so much better with with different words. Um, thank you for the stars in the stream as well. There's 149 stars coming today, which is very generous. Well, thank, thank you. you. Haley says, pumpkin, spook, trick, or boo. There you are, four good names. Keep them coming. Um, or Naomi says, what about flood? There's another flood. We didn't have any floods last night, I think. Name suggestions, I mean. Um, there's plenty of water about, obviously. Um, and also, um, through the comments, yes, we, we did. I, I know I did relate to it last night during the video. We did get a few comments, people saying, why interfere and blah 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 but as I said you weren't here when you're we're farmers this is what we do in the heat of the moment we have to step in and do what we think is best for the animal um, and there's no point saying we shouldn't do this or that we've had too many uh, stillborn and dead donkeys when some mornings when we come out and it's heartbreaking so um, trust us basically Tr yep. trust us we know um, we know what's the what's the right thing to do um, and that that was our, the right our thing our new to little do. baby would not have came out itself we can guarantee that so yep. he wasn't going anywhere he was long overdue um, and he was very dry which didn't help the situation um, so that's why he was uh, mum was exhausted as well she'd She'd worked long and hard enough, so all is well. Um, all is well, and Mum is perfectly happy. She is. So, so all great. in all, it's, it was the right thing to do, and thankfully it's a good outcome this time. I think he's getting quite tired, actually. He's sitting sleeping when we came in. I think he's got a belly full of milk, and he's ready for a wee nap. I mean, for what you can see from under Mum's neck there, he's 
Um, very white looking, isn't he? Look at that for comfort. You see his little blue mark where he's sprayed his navel. I've not any any apples left, Rio. That's it. Rio's been kind of spoiled this morning. She's uh, she's had about five apples, so she's getting the treatment. She's getting the VIP treatment. Oh, but that's what Mum's supposed to get after yeah. they give birth. Isn't Tea and it? toast. So I think that's him kind of parked there until lunchtime, probably when he gets a bit peckish and he'll be up. So if you are coming to see us today, it's the last day of our season for our farm park, and thankfully it's dry. There's a bit of blue sky over there even. Last day of the season, um, last day of, or yesterday was the last day of the the half terms. We, Dumfries and Galway, had two weeks off, um, mid-October, and then the, the week passed. It's been the English kids off, so it's been a very busy three weeks for us here. The farm yeah, park, that's, uh, oh, somebody's looking for me. Um, Farm park closes till April, lets us get the animals have a rest, lets us have a break and get organised for next year and see what, what changes or what improvements we're going to make for the springtime. Um, it's breeding time as well with sheep and goats etc so that takes a wee bit of organising as well. We'll be looking after them in the next few weeks making sure all the the billy goats are in where they should be and all the, the rams are in with the sheep etc. We've got some new sheep coming so it's a busy time and we just need to get the place kind of closed down. The indoor, our indoor soft play area will continue to stay open right the way through the winter. Although we are closed Monday to Thursday this week we're getting a new carpet down in the, the cafe area. Big job. There's a lot of tables and chairs to move and the carpet fitters are freaking out a bit that the old carpet is going to be difficult to take up. Um, so Monday to Thursday, soft play area will be closed this week. It'll open again on Friday with a nice new um, Axminster, or maybe not. Uh, so all being well, it'll not be that big a job, but um, we're anticipating it's going to take four days. The girls will have a, a few days off, the girls in the, the play area. Um, so that's what's happening this week. But yeah, so it, the farming season continues, um, as, as we touched on yesterday, we had to get a lot of stock moved off the fields because of the floods. Um, we had anticipated putting moving some sheep down there, but that's not going to happen anytime soon till the water subsides and hopefully it'll dry up a wee bit after that. So there's a lot of grass down there for us to be uh, to be used over the winter. So 20, many new sheep's coming on Monday? 22? 22 new sheep coming. There's Lisa Marie. I just figured that it would have been better that when she pushed then pull, but looked like you were just pulling all the time. That would hurt. Lisa, unfortunately, it doesn't really work like that. It's, it's, it's not easy to... In the ideal world, in yes. In the ideal world, yes. And when a human can tell you, right, I'm going to push or you can tell a human to push, then yes, that's fine. She was exhausted, so she's not going to be able to just keep pushing, pushing, pushing on on demand. And when you're in time constraints like that and the baby's head's out and the bag's burst, the baby needs to come out. And as all mothers will know, not that I've got a lot of experience, but childbirth does, unfortunately, hurt. <laughs> um she wasn't. You could see from from mum, she's healed up perfectly within twelve hours. So she wasn't she wasn't um, injured in any way. So she's been. It's all successful. Yeah, it's just. Um, it's farming life, isn't it? It's farming life. Yeah, it's farming life. Some to, I mean, we're showing you as it is. There's nothing um, photoshopped in. Not that I'm saying there's. Photoshop stuff on the telly, but maybe you don't see as much uh, on the telly in, in certain s circumstances. But uh, farming life, as to say. So, anyway, we uh, I always says, you guys all did really well. thank you, and thanks for your support. Uh, I we're always going to get concerning comments, but. Uh, 
um, we're just showing you as it is. Don't worry, we're not out there to harm any of our animals. They, uh, we think too much of them to do that. It's only for their own good. Also, it's Sunday tomorrow, which means again I am on animal duty. So you mean again? You did last week, and that I one. might, uh, I might jump on live if the weather's good. Last week it was horrendous. Don't believe me. Sounds like he does it every Sunday. Every single Sunday, I think. <laughs> so, I will be on animals tomorrow, so I'll come on live. We might show you LP and show you our little setup that we've got over there uh, now that most of the animals are over and you can see... LP is our... Uh, how we're got, going to... We've got them. a rented shed, an indoor shed and a paddock that uh, we're... It gives us accommodation for all the animals during... Most of the animals during the winter where it's good, hard and dry facilities. And it, it means we're not using up all the facilities over here so we can get prepared for next spring as well. So um, we call it LP, that's short for its its, it's real name uh, because I don't think it's, it would be good to, uh, to broadcast where it is whenever we are not in attendance all the time. So we'll, we'll call it LP for the, for the sake of it. Uh, so, yeah, we better go and get on. I hear some voices come through in our walkie-talkie. Why is she standing like that? Doing a quick pee, I think. We, we don't know. Uh, again, how long did you say she was going? When did she say she was going to go? Eminently. <laughs> Eminent. <laughs> Then he'll claim five weeks is imminent, so, right. Time to go, need to get on. If you are here today and you see us about, um, come say hello. We were- uh, Farmer Fee coming on, on mods there, asking, has the baby been feeding? Yes, he's been feeding all night. He's been feeding for about 10 of the 12 hours that he's been up, so he's just having a little rest now. He's yeah. getting quite tired, so he's had a, a big 12 hours, so don't worry, he's feeding brilliantly. He's very comfortable. Very comfortable. So we'll go and get on. I say we'll keep you up to speed if there's any more developments with Eeyore. Um, again, keep the name suggestions coming. We'll get his name sorted out. We can't keep con calling him he. Um, and we're good to go. Again, we'll just give you a wee panoramic of the. If you're just joined us, this is what we're facing. Just now, that's our, I'm a, I can't see for the glare. Ah, this is the the bottom of the Nith Valley. We're kind of at the, the end of the Nith Valley and uh, the River Nith flows through our ground. And this is the, the result of the flooding just now. Uh, and there's, is that Rosie and Jim in there? Rosie and Jim are in there, yeah, and so are Bo and Peep. Yep, they're gonna be heading, Bo and Peep are, Rosie and Jim's this year's pet lambs. Oh, the river is coming in. This is, maybe you can see down there. Uh, that's our fodder field, the field where we cut the hay and the silage. Um, and it wasn't flooded this morning, yeah, just down there. But it's, the tide must be coming in. So the water's coming up. So more, even though it's not raining, it, it's, um, it's all based on, on what the tide does. Right, blether enough, we shall go. Have a great day, everybody. Um, we'll keep you abreast of anything that's happening. So from Farmer Pete, Farmer Ben, and the rest of the family and all the team here at Dulscon, we'll speak to you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.